and welcome back guys. So, we're over here playing the game they called The Crust, and I tried not to build on the surface, but I got hit with lag, I got hit with not enough power, where you had that bug where it's saying that you don't have enough power, but you've got plenty of power. So, let's go ahead, let's talk about what's on the ground first, alright? So, what I like to try to do is I like to try to keep my conveyor belts empty if I can. And keep everything off when you're loading your game save. Basically, the less crap you have to load in, the better, right? And you'll notice there's a bunch of underground belts over the place. So, my factory on the cross got so big that it started shitting its pants, basically. It started lagging really bad, basically. So, the problem I have now, which I'm currently turning off all the sludge and stuff here... Uh, this is my, this is how I treat the slag. This is the smart concrete plant. This over here is where I refine everything. So I just let it, you know, gather up in here. So, this is what we're doing our recap, and then I'm going to tell you the problem. So, there is a problem. So, this is where everything gets melted, everything gets stored in these little bins, and I found out that if you have too many of these bins, and they're full, it gets pretty laggy pretty quick. All right. Come over to the refineries. We notice there's a lot less belts. So apparently, having too many of these long way belts gets very laggy. But if you put your belt underneath the ground, you don't have to render the crap on the belt in as much. All right. So that sounds like a decent plan. I'll just put all my belts underneath the ground. It's not that easy. Some places you just can't do that. You can try. But there's a lot of places you just can't do that. So, alright. I've got all of my extractors off by default. You would think I'd be all set because everything's off by default, right? Wrong. So, I've gotten rid of as many light poles that would be... Because light poles here actually emit light and it becomes a problem. How so? Well, you got to render in all these lights when you load up your game. When it becomes night and day cycle, it's kind of a laggy problem. Uh, conveyor belts towards mid-game become laggy. There's no way to really explain how they become laggy. It just becomes super laggy for some reason. Alright. So, you see I have a conveyor 3 belt here. Because I have had so much stuff coming in that I had to get off the belt. Because if I don't get off the belt, my game's going to lag and probably crap its pants. Alright, so, we did some upgrades in certain areas. So, I would recommend if you're playing the Crush to start with the number 1 belt and number 2 belt. Don't upgrade to number 3 unless you absolutely have to. Because the higher belt you go with, the more laggy it becomes. I put a number th uh, 3 belt here because I gotta get shit moving. There's just too much shit. Alright, so we got our glitch extractor here that just never goes away. I started moving my batteries underneath the ground. Alright. And I know I planned in the last video to wait on uh, building on the surface so that you guys could see me build on the surface. Unfortunately, that just didn't happen. How did that not happen? Well, I ended up building because I'm trying to figure out why my game's lagging. So, that's the recap. I have moved all my storage to the surface. Alright, we've got all this going to the surface. And now, here's the problem. Once we go to the surface here, I'll tell you the problem. So, let's go to the surface. So, here's the recap. I've built a bunch of solar arrays. We've got a bunch of small ones. I want to move all of this underneath the ground. I've got my fuel plant over here. And then this is my storage slash sorting system for, uh, I literally make so much iron, I have a hard time storing all of it basically at this point. So we've got this set up where each uh, factory is making what it needs to make and it has the stuff relatively close by with no problem. Alright, so what's the problem, you ask? Well. Unfortunately, my game save counts as a large factory save. And as we all know, 
uh, the Crust, the game developers, are currently trying to fix this problem. So, what's the issue here? We, I could play a game save of me playing this, but I won't be able to save my game without my game closing regarding the Crust. So, I think until they fix the issue of the game not able to save when you have a large factory, I think until they fix it, we should probably start playing other games until they fix it. Uh, option two, I just start a new gameplay, which I don't know if you want to see me play this again from scratch. Uh, I don't know if it's going to make a difference, is what's pretty much going on, is because I've compacted everything that I can physically compact. I was trying to compact this belt here to be an underground belt, but every time I try to save, my game just closes and it, it fails to save correctly. So you can kind of see why I'm like, is it even worth continuing playing the crust currently? If you can't make any progress, you know, it's not much fun playing a game that you play it for 45 minutes, you had fun doing it, you don't even realize you spent 45 minutes playing it, and you try to save, and there goes 45 minutes of your life just so you have to do it again, and then you're making no progress, is what I'm saying, you know. So I think until another update comes out regarding the crust here, uh, I think we're going to stop playing it for now, until a patch or a fix for large saves actually start saving like they're supposed to be. Uh, I, I just don't see the point of playing a game that you can't make any progress, you know? Uh, if I was to play this again, and I will be putting a vote on the channel of should I replay the crust or should we stay on the current gameplay, I will put a vote up there so that you guys can vote if, you know, should we wait until they fix the damn game where they fix it so large saves can actually save correctly. Uh, and then I'll have an option B, do I just start a new game, which will suck. But at least I know what causes lag and what doesn't cause lag now. So, from my personal advice, a lot of conveyors cause lag. Alright. A lot of excessive utility pulls cause lag. Alright. Uh, having too many of these containers cause lag because you're moving resources between belts to the next conveyor, which I know is lags. All right, what else caused lag? Large open spaces, which I can't change down here. You would think you could mine everything out. Yeah, that, you might want to slim down trying to put a belt in here and put stuff around here. Uh, I noticed when you mine out large areas of earth underground, it causes a significant amount of lag. So, now, well, starting a new game save, like I said, this game takes a lot of time to get, it literally consumes time at this point, to do the storyline and get better stuff, and unfortunately, it's at a point where, you know, I'm, I'm not making any progress, like, I could sit here and try to save 15 minutes of gameplay, and the game will just close. I'm making no progress going forwards at the moment. So you understand now why I haven't been producing a lot of gameplay from the crust for recently. I produced one video talking about how I'll try not to build on the surface. I've been sitting here for a good five, almost five to ten days trying to figure out, okay, what can I do to prevent my game from closing? What can I do to prevent it from lagging? What can I do to actually get it to fucking save? <laughs> and unfortunately, it's at a point where, you know, it's at a point where your hands are tied, you know? You, you can't do anything. It's at that point where you either wait for the devs to fix the problem, or you start a new game. And I really don't want to start a new game. But I will, if everyone votes for me to start a new game. Because at least I now know that when you're in the skill tree here, you need this unlocked, this unlocked, and then you need 
this, this, and this unlocked. Because if you don't get these in a certain order, you will screw your game save. So, I wanted to give you guys an update regarding the crust of why I have not been playing it a lot lately. This is why it's it's pointless to continue playing a game that you're making no progress in. And, you know, you make progress, you try to save it, and it's like, nope, we can't save your game. It's too large, it did not save correctly, so now you're stuck with... Now, for instance, over here, I'm currently stuck with a game save that was interrupted when it was saving, where my game closed when it was saving, and now it won't go away. <laughs> you can see why I'm like, huh? Yeah, I tried playing it on August 1, 2024 at 4 a.m. in the morning, and it's like... And this was an autosave, by the way. So you can see where I stopped playing on July 30th, and I continued to try to lower the amount of lag. I tried to uh, lower the amount of lights, conveyor belts. I've tried everything so far to make sure this runs smoothly for recording gameplay purposes, and I've hit a dead end, so... No drama or anything like that. I'm just trying to make sure you guys understand why I've stopped playing the Crest. I, I love the game. I just wish it wasn't so buggy. And I wish that you could actually save your gameplay after making progress. So, anyways, make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe button. I'll leave a vote on the channel in the comments of, should we continue our gameplay? Should we wait until the devs fix the large game saves? Or should we just start again? Or something like that. You kind of get the idea. You know what I'm going for. Anyways, thank you guys for supporting the channel. Thank you for supporting the series. Make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.